everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to explore how to become Australian permanent resident, how to migrate to Australia even if you are over 45. So Australian migration, for some reason that they set, uh, set a age limitation, age benchmark for majority of the migrant skill for majority of the permanent visa programs. So I can give you examples of a uh, very common visa subclass that has, have the age limitation. Once the visa subclass is SISA, so supporting South, new innovation in South Australia, the benchmark is 45. The main applicants must be under 45. And the other two options of skill migration, skill migration, the main applicant has to be, has to be under 45 as well. And for work type of visa, okay, if you are come here for temporary one, there's no age limit. But when you are occupation is a non-term occupation, this which means your occupation will need a permanent visa stream, then the age bench is 45. So you cannot obtain permanent visa under work visa employee sponsor stream if you are over 45. Okay. Um, the other two type of visas, they have a slightly higher uh, age bench, which is business type of visa. You have to be under 55 in order to approve the visa. And for global tunnel independent one, you have to under uh, 55 as well. So how can we do if you really, you know, either over 40, 50, 45 under this stream or over 55 or over these streams? Now I give you some uh, examples and a solution for you if you really want to come and to apply. And this is really within, like in, within the legislation as well. For example, if you come for as a skill, uh, work visa holder and you're currently hitting you know, 45, uh, you're not able to get permanent visa. What can you do being already working on 482 visa? Now, one option is you can come through this uh, labor agreement, okay? Labor agreement, in particular, Dharma, okay? Now, Dharma is really about agreement between the state or local council with the Department of Home Affairs, the immigration and the local government. They have agreement, a contract. By saying contract, the the local government will tell the, the uh, immigration, say, I need these people and I can give them age waiver. And the Dharma, most of the Dharma agreement has age waiver and up to 50, okay, up to 50. Now, if you know, you're really lucky and your occupation is in the Dharma list, then you can do this. But however, if your occupation is not on the diamond list, you are actually in the regional Australia, what can you do? You can actually request the local government to put your occupation in the list. Of course, you need to demonstrate a very, very strong case. You can do it and then, you know, we have a successful case for that. It's always good to negotiate with because, uh, you know, you don't know if you don't ask. Although that might be some processing time because really local government need to negotiate with the, with the uh, Department of Home Affairs, but they put into the queue when the time of, uh, of the review, then they submit. But it's always worthwhile to ask if your, to check if your occupation is on the occupation list or not. Um, below that's a link, you really can check whether your occupation is on the Dharma list or not. You can find more there. Now, the other type one, skill by migration, if you're over 45, there's really no chance. So you really can't do anything about that because it's already set in the legislation, that just, which is regulation, Australian um, migration regulations, 45, it's set. Now, if you come here on size 408, what is the option? That is a legislation as well, right? You have to under 45. Um, so this way can work around because SISA is approved not on people but on project. Okay, your innovation idea, your business plan is approved on a project. So because of the project that it allows you to have a several, well, you know, at least two founders to 
participate in such project. So in this circumstance, if for example, the main applicant and the wife, they are doing something together. But then main applicants, you know, over 50 or over 45, then indeed the dependent applicant, the wife can actually become main applicant. And this is okay too, really because we don't like the department, we don't like anyone, because both of you are working together. Although, although some of you might work really in business development, others working in the really technical area, this is fine too because both of you will contribute to the same project. And when we have to see whether SISA is successful or not, it really check on the entire project, not what you do. So whoever in, in participating in that project and that project itself be successful. So that does not prevent you to provide an you know, enter Australia if you even you are 45. That is some of the tips you can in, in, imply into your application. Now look about GTI. GTI in the normal request you have to between 18, okay, or of course 18 and 55. Now if you are over 55, you have to demonstrate that your experience and your skill will be exceptional set a benefit to Australia and to Australia community. How can we demonstrate? This is really you need to build up a strong profile and demonstrate that your skill, your current technology will bring benefit to Australia. Really, because this is really to, it's not very hard to prove. Why? Because global talent independent one, as long as you receive a unique identifier number, it proves that you actually have something to bring to Australia. Now, only you need to do it's really exceptional. You know, in, in area of the, uh, you know, we really need, for example, agriculture, for example, space. If you're in area of data science, that will be the person we want. So. GTI has waiver clause as well for age limit. Now, if you come on business visa, age limit is 55. Now, business visa also has a way, way, age waiver clause in some of the states, not all the states, has a, and they change the policy because the policy allows that state government make decision on that. So this is really flexible. The legislation indicates if the state government proof this one is of exceptional benefit to that particular state, that Department of Home Affairs should not judge on that. They will trust their decision. So all you need to do is really to confirm with state government, Western Australia, for example, South Australia, Queensland, Victoria, uh, New South Wales. You can confirm with them, say, hey, can you give me an age waiver and what do you need from me in order to, to prove that I'm of exceptional benefit to the state. So overall, I provide several solutions. If you really hit the benchmark of age limit, there's still some way to work around. And of course, you need to, work, you need to bring all effort to make it happen. Now I'm a registered migration agent. I'm, I'm skilled in skilled business visa, talent visa. If you have any question, Comment below and send me an email directly or don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.